Hey folks, Crazy Clamorady here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Special Crime Investigation. This was created by Taito in 1989. And it is a sequel to Chase HQ. And it's really a pretty cool game. It's a lot like Chase HQ, but with some uh, major uh, differences. One is the fact that you get to keep shooting while you're driving. And I don't think you were able to do that in Chase HQ. Um, the goal is the same. You have to try to bring down this vehicle uh, that is that the perpetrator is driving you know, of uh, various crimes. Um, in the first one, I think you just had to ram him enough times to cause him enough damage so that he has to pull over. And then you bust him. But in this one, you can shoot at him. Although it does extremely little damage, you do the most damage by either bashing into him or you can get a weapon upgrade to a rocket launcher. Then you can cause much more damage that way. Um, the gameplay is otherwise really similar to Chase HQ. Um, you get three turbos, and I think you got three turbos in the first... Uh, game and uh, you use the turbos to try to catch up to the criminals if you don't at least get them within viewing distance by the time the time runs out your game is uh, gonna end and you have to spend a continue and uh, when you spend a continue <laughs> this is cool the uh, uh, perpetrator will be ahead of you quite a distance more and you have to play catch up but you get your time completely restored which is very nice we'll get started here I'm gonna spend a uh, turbo early because I'm driving uh, uh, mostly straight away you can shoot to uh, clear out the road a little bit you can clear out some uh, some uh, uh, blockades or uh, you can get points for shooting other cars <laughs> it pays to take out innocent civilians <laughs> but uh, this is kind of cool maybe I prefer the original Chase HQ a little bit I, yeah, they're about the same maybe this is kind of cool so now we've caught up with the criminal um, both games are really hard. I can't really beat uh, the second level without uh, uh, continuing. But uh, there, that chopper dropped me off my rocket launcher. I have very limited use of it. I'm already out, I think. But um, you can uh, fail to catch that rocket launcher that the chopper, chopper drops down to you. So uh, you got to be in the right position to catch it. Now I've used up all my turbos, so I gotta take out this guy. There we go. You score a lot of points in this game. Holy crap! I'm over six hundred thousand. It's Bob, the boss. She isn't the one you guys are looking for. <laughs> Bob, I know nothing. <laughs> Open channel, code four. There's a lot more dialogue than a uh, Chase HQ. Karen, Roger. <laughs> it's got the same same characters from Chase HQ, all of them, um, or at least the uh, the good guys. But uh, there are basically six levels, and on the final level, you have to reach this. Uh, this enemy headquarters and if you get to it in time you save this this guy's daughter I think it's the mayor's daughter was what the story was but um, you will uh, there will also sometimes be an enemy chopper not just the one that gives you a weapon but um, you have to save the mayor's daughter at the end and you can get a bad ending if you don't make it to the uh, building in time 
on the last level she'll blow up <laughs> so I'll show you the bad ending and the good ending later you'll see a little green uh, uh, crosshairs when you reach the uh, or when you get the uh, boss in your sights you can uh, you could fall off into the water or off the cliff earlier on this level there <laughs> I fell into the water <laughs> you get set right back on the road which is nice but yeah I need to spend to continue to be able to beat the boss like I said shooting them does does almost nothing you've gotta you gotta really bash into him or use the uh, rocket launcher upgrade to really cause damage later on in this game you will acquire a shotgun that might cause a little bit more damage to the boss than than just using the pistol which is really quite weak damn it I came close to getting him but no I think I declined or no I did uh, continue here I used just one continue but I'll show you uh, snippets of the rest of the levels at least and now here is the chopper that will give me the rocket launcher yeah, the rocket launcher only has like three shots, I think. Or maybe it was five. Well, I, I hit him a couple times. I have uh, 30 seconds to take him down. But yeah, shooting him with the regular pistol does like next to nothing. You gotta bash into him and use the rocket launcher. Yeah, uh, your uh, dispatch officer, she will tell you uh, to hurry up if you've got 15 seconds Buddy, left. You did it again. I ain't Bob. This little girl ain't the one either. I guess Bob is somewhere over the mountain, you dummy. <laughs> so I can't follow the story from their dialogue. This was suggested by YouTube user Charlie Cat. Karen, Roger. And this is definitely fun. I don't remember seeing this in the arcades. Definitely a fun uh, racing uh, crime uh, police intrigue type of game. Just use those. Oh, whoa, yeah. Careful. You have to really cut speed when you get to the cliff area. Or you will fly off the edge and uh, lose valuable time. I kind of like the bells and whistles of the first game a little bit more. This game is definitely not a bad sequel. It's kind of fun. And even though you don't cause much damage at all to the boss with your uh, pistol, it's nice to have that. Because you can, uh, like I said before, you can shoot the uh, civilian vehicles for uh, extra points. Oh, shoot. Just got him in sight in time. I was about to uh, run. I ran out of time and was about to slow down. Ah, oh, damn it. Now, you have a uh, low and high gear shift. And I'm about to get the rocket launcher. You have a low and high gear shift. Now, if you, uh, if you crash and you have to stop, your car stops. It's kind of cool you go through waterfalls. If you crash and stop then uh, switch into low gear and then back to high gear you'll uh, you'll get started much quicker that way yeah, this is kind of a fun game I like this this and chase HQ were fun <sighs> damn it it just it just sucks that you can't hardly do any damage with the pistol really have to bash into him. Now he's going to get away. Crap. But I think here I declined to continue. Let the timer run out and put in my initials. But again, there's six levels and on the sixth level, if you do not get to that factory in time, the uh, mayor's daughter blows up. <laughs> Bad ending. 
And if you do reach the factory in time, the factory blows up, but you have apparently rescued the mayor's daughter because you see her reunited with the mayor. And that is the good ending. I'll go ahead and put my initials in. But yeah, you score a lot of points in this game, but you kind of need to because the uh, high score list is pretty steep. You are number four, Russ. Well, let's let's uh, let's catch the the bad guy uh, after picking up the rocket launcher. Yeah, did some damage with the rocket launcher. Do some damage by bashing into him. You can hold down the fire button to just continuously fire. You don't run out of bullets. You have uh, infinite bullets for your pistol. Really wish I had infinite bullets for m or infinite uh, firepower for my rocket launcher. Come on, die already. There we go. I want my attorney. I ain't gonna say nothing <laughs> till he comes. Call my lawyer. The boss don't say nothing till he comes. <laughs> Open channel, code four. A patrol wagon with Bob Black aboard has been stolen by an unknown perpetrator. You may use the shotgun now. Over. Karen. Yeah, now Roger. they give you the shotgun. Yeah, this is a good sequel to uh, Chase HQ. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, crap! <laughs> I have uh, uh, Chase HQ as I think it was my uh, oh, no. number. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, you have you have trains crossing at the uh, oh, intersections no. or uh, buses, excuse me. So you have to slow down. Which sucks, but um, yeah, I have a Chase HQ as game number 16 in my uh, 20 from 1988 series. I definitely remember seeing Chase HQ in the arcades. Never really played it back then, and like I said, I'd never seen this one in arcades either. Oh, <laughs> I gave myself uh, infinite time. I put on a cheat just so I could uh, engage the boss. But yeah, notice your firepower is different. Boy, he's got a lot of cars surrounding him. It's hard to get a beat on. <laughs> I like that you get jumps sometimes when you're facing the boss. But uh, the boss on the next level is another truck. And once you destroy it, you have to face a helicopter. And you have to wait until the helicopter comes comes down close to you to be able to hit it, of course. And that's the end of boss number four. Do you know that this is the end of HQ? Yeah, Bob works for me, and I work for Mr. Raymond. Tony Raymond, the next mayor. He's gonna put you all out of the business. <laughs> Open channel, code four. Tony Raymond is fleeing with the convoy toward the desert. Bring him to justice. Over. Karen. Yeah, there's Roger. the convoy boss. But we'll we'll uh, skip forward a little bit to uh, face the boss oh, no. in just a moment here. <laughs> Damn it. Convoy. Crap. Yeah, I gave myself another cheat, infinite turbos. Very nice cheat to have. <laughs> Damn it. Crap. But yeah, now I have to face the chopper. And you can't fire on him when he's in the air. You have to wait for him to come down to you. And then you can bash him 
Oh, shoot him. I'll scoot forward to me beating him. And there we go. Yeah, it's me. Listen, Mayor. Listen good. Your little girl is hugging a time bomb in the warehouse somewhere in the suburbs. You got only 30 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, we'll see the bad ending, which is if you don't reach the uh, the girl in time. You have all this all this uh, uh, foliage you have to plow through. You can shoot it, of course, but you can't run into the cactuses or you'll stop and lose time. <laughs> we'll scoot forward to me uh, losing, running out of time, and seeing the bad ending. Game over. The Bluey goes to the factory, along with the mayor's daughter. Daddy! Daddy. Jennifer! <laughs> Well, now let's see the uh, good ending. You make it to the factory in time, it blows up, but you've apparently saved the mayor's daughter. Daddy! Oh, Jennifer, are you all right, baby? <laughs> you get a bonus of 500,000 if you uh, beat the game. That was Special Crime Investigation, created by Taito in 1989, the first sequel to Chase HQ. I think there was another sequel. I think I can't remember for sure, but this was suggested by YouTube user Charlie Cat, and uh, still taking requests. If you got any, let me know what you want me to do. <laughs> I don't know why he says that, but yeah, any requests you want, I'll uh, write them down. I can't promise I'll get to them right away, but I'll get to them when I can. Thank you very much for playing. You're welcome. It was kind of a fun game. I enjoyed it. You put your initials in. And when you beat the game, it says all for round. But that was Special Crime Investigation by Taito in 1989. The first sequel to Chase HQ. Kind of a fun game. Well, that was Special Crime Investigation by Taito in 1989, the first sequel to Chase HQ. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching, and I will catch you later with another video. Hope you all have a good one, and I will catch you later. Have a good week, folks. Bye-bye.